Remember what happened in our last episode? Ilva and the other women of Flake were kidnapped by the Danes and carried off to Denmark. Thanks to Vicky, the Vikings had managed to sneak into the castle to rescue the women. But they fell into the trap set for them by the clever but not very nice king of Denmark. How in the world are Vicky, Halver and the other Vikings going to get out of this? You can't say I didn't warn you Vikings to go back to Flake, where you came from, hmm? You should have taken my advice. Now you and your women are our prisoners. But you promised to return our wife to us if we gave you the ransom you asked for, and now you've gone back on your word. I'm not a liar, really. I simply changed my mind. It's just that your wives are such good cooks, and I'd rather eat well than take the ransom. What's that? Our wives are cooking your meals. And that's not all. In addition to cooking delicious meals, they do all the washing and cleaning in the castle. Do you intend to keep our wives prisoner here forever? You can't do that. I can't. <laughs> I shall do exactly as I please. And while I'm at it, I think I'll keep you oh. prisoner as well. Guards, oh. take them away. Of course, the women of Flake have no idea that their husbands have been taken prisoner and are in the castle as well. Open up, open the door, do you hear me? Open up, I said, you beast. Uh, uh, and bring us something to eat. No, we're hungry. Stop shouting, Father. Oh, you're right, Vicky. I've shouted so much that I've got a sore throat. Well, son, I think the time has come to do something about this. Yes, but what can we possibly do? I was going to ask you that. We have no weapons, and so fighting them is out of the question. We must return to Flake, but for that, we've got to get out of here and down to the ship. That shouldn't be too hard. I think the king has left the ship in sight on purpose to make us think we can escape by jumping into the water and onto the ship. The only problem is he thinks we don't know about it. There are dozens of sharks down there, and they all seem to be swimming around our ship, Father. What's that you said? Sharks? Oh, oh, oh. Oh, uh, uh, well, we won't fall for that trick. Let's uh, forget about the ship. What can we do? We must think of a plan for rescuing Mother and all the others and then getting away. Better think hard, Vicky. Would you mind telling me how we can possibly rescue our women without any weapons? I wouldn't mind knowing how we can rescue ourselves with or without weapons. Hmm. Hurry and get the washing before everything is soaked. Quickly, you hear? Come, come, you can move faster than that. That Ilva woman's a treasure. The men obey her orders and she organizes the women so well. What a pleasure to eat well and have a clean castle. <laughs> ah, tell me, Commander. What are those fools who call themselves Vikings doing? Absolutely nothing, Your Majesty. Not a sound from them. They seem to have lost their energy. <laughs> that does not surprise me. They have been here for two days, and we still haven't given them anything to eat. I think we should throw them to the sharks now, before they lose too much weight. After all, we're eating well. There's no reason why the sharks should not mm, You may be an imbecile, but for once I think you're right. Tomorrow morning, we shall give our good friends the sharks a treat. They can stuff themselves on Vikings. 
What a wonderful smell. I wonder what the women of Flake are preparing today. <laughs> Commander, go to the kitchen and find out. And mind your manners this time, if you know what's good for you. We certainly don't want to make the lovely ladies angry. Excuse me for interrupting you, my dear ladies, but would you mind? Would we mind what? Uh, His Majesty would simply like to know what is on the menu for tonight, and he sent me to find out. Tonight's first course is goose liver in a spicy onion sauce. I'm sure he'll find it delicious. Oh, yes, I'm certain he will. And that will be followed by fillets in our own special Viking sauce. That's not all. Look at these. Ah! We also prepared sandwiches with a choice of ham, sausage or real in lovely fresh bread. And for dessert, strawberries and honey and a baked apple. Think you can remember all that? Uh, my mouth is watering already. Uh, uh, oh! <laughs> Hey, you out there, guards, can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. What do you want, pest? Oom, our poet is going to play a beautiful new song on his harp. We thought that you might like to hear it. What makes you think that a brave Danish soldier would be interested in listening to a song on a harp? You must get bored standing guard out there all day long, day after day. We thought it would make a nice change for you to hear some pretty music. And Oom um plays the harp very well. He gave a command performance for the King of Hungary. The King liked it so much, he rewarded him for it. I don't hear a thing. You don't? I can't hear any music. All I hear is your yapping. That's because the door is too thick. Try getting as close to it as possible and see if you can hear, all right? We still can't hear anything. Are you sure your poet has strings on his harp? Oh, what a pity. You can't hear it. As I said, the door is just too thick. We'll open it then. But no funny business, understand? Because we are smarter and stronger than you Vikings, and our spears have very sharp points. Oh, we know that. All we really want is for you to hear the music. <laughs> they said if we start any trouble, they'll kill us, but I wouldn't worry about it. Oh, you wouldn't? wouldn't? Um, you've got to play as beautifully as you can. Let me handle the rest. <clears throat> this is Ulm, our poet, and one of the best harpists in the world. Nice, huh? Boom, go out on the tower with the soldiers and play there as loud and as long as you can. Good. <sighs> What's wrong with you, Vicky? Nothing, except I'm dying of hunger. What's going on around here tonight? I want my dinner and I want it now. Uh, yes, Majesty. I'll go and see what's holding things up. I'm hungry. His Majesty is starving, but I'm afraid to go into the kitchen and make them angry. They'll yell at me again. Oh. Here they come with the dinner. Oh. Dinner's on its way. Well, it's about time. The ladies are coming. Mind your table, madam. Uh -huh. oh, here they come. <laughs> My dear, dear, lovely ladies of Flake, what delicious delicacies have you created for me tonight? Enjoy your meal while you can. Don't waste your time complimenting us. Eat while it's still hot. This could be the last meal we'll ever cook for you. Did you say the last? But I don't understand. In that case, let me explain it to you. You don't honestly think our husbands are going to take our being kidnapped lying down, do you? At any moment, our brave Viking men will be coming to attack you and free us. Really? <laughs> we should be shaking in our boots in fear of your brave husbands. <laughs> uh, but for now, I would rather attack my dinner. That harp, it has to be.
that your oh. nerve? I'll take that. Uh, uh, oh. 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 And I'll take oh. that. Oh. And that. Oh. 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 Don't expect another morsel of food until you return our men to us. <laughs> oh, wait, ladies. Please don't go away. I give you my word of honor. I promise to let you see your husbands. Only I beg you, bring the goose liver back. Or oh, the sandwiches, at least. Don't leave me hungry. Oh, how can you be so cruel? Please, ladies, I'll do whatever you say, but give me my dinner. Don't just stand there. Come down the stairs. <gasps> oh. 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 darling. Oh. 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 I'm so happy to see you again. <laughs> Do you think perhaps you could fix us something to eat? We're dying of hunger. Oh, you mean they haven't given you anything to eat, you poor thing? Oh, we've got a dinner <laughs> fit for a king, Vicky. <laughs> Uh -huh. Our wives are so happy to see us that they've cooked us a welcome feast, you see. What in the world is wrong with you, Halva? Oh, I'll tell you what's wrong. Vicky isn't the only one who's dying of hunger. I'm too weak to move, even. We're all hungry and too weak to move. Give us a move now! Huh? I'll just eat this last potato and then I think I'll be full. It was a wonderful meal, Mother. Well, now that you've eaten, my son, I think it's time you started thinking of an idea for getting us out of here. Oh. Your father's right, Vicky. You're the brains of the family. We're depending on you. Have you thought of anything yet? Hmm? I'm sure you must have the beginning of an idea. I've worked it all out. The first part of the plan is for you to prepare as much good food as possible. Are you serious? Sure I am. Mm. Mm. Don't worry, I know what I'm doing. You know how much the king loves to eat, and especially your food. We'll use that as our bait. Oh, I am beginning to understand. You're such a clever little boy, Vicky, aren't you? All right, ladies, let's get down to work. The king wants to eat good food, we'll give him what he wants. No, <laughs> I'm sure it's a good oh, idea, oh. even though I don't quite understand. But you're bound to need some help in executing your plan, and your father and his men are ready. Tell us what to do, and we'll do it. There is one thing that you can do, and I'm sure it's something you and the others can handle, and it's important. But don't worry, it isn't very difficult. <laughs> this is a true feast. Let us eat, drink, and be merry. Stuff yourselves, men. Long live the women of Flake. Long live the women of Flake. It's very important that you keep smiling. <laughs> there you are, Majesty. And enjoy your meal. Well, it looks like the baby Viking has taken a fancy to this place. Hmm? Oh, yes, Majesty. I really like it here in Denmark. <laughs> However, if you're merely pretending to like it here, I warn you, I have guards posted at every gate and every tower. It is impossible for you to escape. And they are on duty day and night, my boy. <laughs> But even if we wanted to escape and manage to get out of the castle, where would we possibly go? Mm. Yes, you have a good point there. You're a long way from the ice and snow of your country. Here you have the sea and, of course, sharks. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I hate to think of it even. If my plan doesn't work, we're all going to become shark food. <sighs> I know what we can do. I've got it. Of course, it's bound to work. Mother, mother! I've got it. I've just thought of the last part of the plan. Listen. Hmm? <gasps> 
I knew we could count on you, my son. Save the kisses for later. We've got to get to work now and fast. Yes, you're right. We shall begin immediately. Attention, ladies, stop cooking. We've got more important things to do. <laughs> I'm fed up. I refuse to do this anymore. My name's Halva, not Housewife. Enough of this plan! We're Vikings and we'll fight them like Vikings! I'll tear oh, them apart, weapons no, or not! No, no, wait, Father! Don't go in there! Listen to ah. me! Yes, I see. Good idea. I'll go tell the others! Ah, Vicky, you're a genius, and no wonder with a father like me! <laughs> yes. Go on, drink up, drink yourselves into oblivion. <laughs> Here, let me serve you another. <laughs> hey, Stall, listen. Can't you see I'm busy, eh? Oh! Hey, Fax. What do you want, Snorr? Oh, yes. If you don't finish it soon, the Danes will find it. We haven't got all day, you know, ladies. Make yourself useful and find us some more cloth. We haven't got enough to finish. One already. <laughs> oh, the women have escaped. After the Vikings, quickly. Ban the towers and the gates. They must not get away. Oh, they've noticed we've gone. What now? I was going to ask you that. They're not going to be happy about this. Oh, no! This is no time to lose our courage. Vicky, this was your idea. What can we do now? We keep going. Don't worry. We'll get out of here. If anyone escapes, you shall pay for it. Do you hear? What's all this noise about? They've escaped, Your Majesty. What? Escaped, you say? But I assure you, there's nothing to worry about. The silly fools have all climbed up to the tower. It's impossible to escape from there. We shall simply go up and bring them down. Those Vikings are stupider than I thought. Their Captain Halvar must have rocks in his head. Oh, my head! My crown! My crown has been stolen! Bring me back my crown! Oh! Oh! Recover my crown! Uh, yes, Your Majesty. You're absolutely sure I've got to go first. I mean, I, I believe in calling a spider a spider. It was, after all, Vicky's idea. I mean, I, I, I don't want to rush into this. I really don't want to think about it. You know? Oh, no, please not me. Not me. Anyone else, but not me. No! No, no, I, I, Get I don't want to Get in there, no. God. That's an order. No, no. All right, women, we're ready. Go ahead. <laughs> Jury and snore. Down you go. You first. Don't you. Why me? Because. Down with the both of you. No, 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 no. Go. Go. Now it's your turn, Fax. Oh, it's too small. Ah. Oh. Oh. <laughs> it's our turn, son. Ah. Oh. <laughs> oh. 
Surprised, aren't you, Commander? And you're too late. You don't mean to say you're going to die from this height, huh? If the fall doesn't kill you, the sharks will. Ah, uh, we're not afraid of a few sharks. <laughs> nice meeting you, Commander. <laughs> oh, they weren't fooling. They really jumped down. Ah, now I see. Oh. Well, men, if they can do it, so can you. Hurry now. Go, go, go! Detach the chute quickly! Take it out. You allowed them to escape, the men and the women. You are incompetent, you hear? Yes, Your Majesty. I'm ashamed of myself. Oh, now I've got to go back to living in a filthy castle and eating miserable food. What's more, my crown has been stolen, you idiot. Yes, I know, Your Majesty. And, and your box of jewels as well. No! Ah. Commander. Yes, Your Majesty. To the dungeon with you now! Oh, Rich found 